I believe it was the philosopher Frederick Nietzsche who first said, sometimes you look into the pancake, but at times the pancake looks into you. That's deep, dude. So, back in the 80s, a game came out called Super, Super Mario Brothers, or Mario Brothers, or Mario. They were all the same thing. And the game was a 2D game, side-scroller. So you fast forward about 10 years or so, and then we're in the mid-90s and games are 3D. So they kind of upgraded a little bit. And then you fast forward another 10 years or so, 10, 15 years, and we're into the games today, where the video games are getting to look a little bit more photorealistic. So, with each upgrade in graphics, there's also an upgrade in processing power to make those graphics look good. I was into video games back when we had this cool game called Pong, P-O-N-G. It was exciting, exhilarating, thrilling, and kind of like tennis, volleyball, and badminton all in one. This Pong game was absolutely fascinating. What I really loved about this Pong game was its ability to keep my interest completely mesmerized game after game, play after play, as I try to work up and develop a strategic approach towards tactically destroying my opponent every time throughout Pong. Eventually, this Pong game was brought into my home. No longer did I have to go out into the streets, the arcade. But I had a machine that specialized in just playing Pong. Oh, yeah, I know they added color to it later and made it break out and stuff like that. But Pong is where it's at. Back in 1979, I knew no better Pong player than myself. In order for the illusion of us eating at Denny's, for, this to, for all of this to happen, for the pancakes that are sitting in front of me, there has to be a lot of power in this illusion. Otherwise, like, if I see that this kind of looks fake, everything starts to fall apart and break down. I'm going to explain a little bit more about time travel and the whole depth of the parallel universes. They tie, I'm going to sound like that weird guy. <laughs> we'll save that for the vlog. No, no, you won't. Because and that dude... The that dude, is, that dude wait, 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 wait. That's, a, that's an awesome segue. Let's talk about the, the three mics. Are we going to cut in like Crazy Mike? We have some video of Crazy we Mike. We do have some video of Crazy Mike, so we'll just cut it in. Yeah. Well, the story of Three Mikes goes a little something. We're going to do this with a guitar and do the vlog. This is the vlog. This is a vlog at Denny's? Why not? Do you have to take notes? Yeah, I had some notes for today's vlog. Yeah, it's, um... Hmm. You just shoot from the hip when we do this stuff? No, I draw a big picture, see? The Chinese use Pong to develop some funky-ass time travel. And that's how we got everything that we have now. I heard that cats are all aliens from outer space. Yeah, well, I heard that we're cloning cats. No, we're genetically modifying cats. I heard we're genetically modifying children. Come on, this is just like an endless parade and, of bullshit. And puppies. <laughs> What if they merged a puppy and a child together? I heard that they're genetically modifying rocks and bananas. If I were to have a pet that was genetically engineered, I want to merge a kid with a cat so it buries its own crap. Excellent. And it says here, images and stuff for Rick Ramirez. I'm supposed to get you some videos. I was going to talk about my new website, RelationshipsDynamics.com, where I'll be explaining a little bit more about dynamics of relationships. That had to do with the three mics. All right, the story of three mics is something like this. I'm talking earlier with Rick, and I told him I had a tale of three mics. This is not something I even planned on putting on video, but it was a tale of three mics. A liar. Darren is completely lying right now because he told me earlier <laughs> that he wanted to do a vlog, video log, on the three mics. I don't know what the hell he's talking about, but he seems to be very passionate about it. And now he's got cold feet. My feet are below the table and the temperature is not yet determined. Hmm. I was eating a pancake when you're doing video. Do I get like crap in my teeth now? That's awesome. He's got food in his mouth, people. It's crazy. <laughs> Making silly videos. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Just choke all over the place. Making silly videos is our contribution towards time travel.
in the future, someday, people uh, will be able to... more philosophy. Bring it. Well, Rick, when I think about time travel, I recognize that if I want to go back in time, I'm able to travel through photographs provided by Wikipedia and the Wiki Commons. And it's almost as if I'm living these moments. Sometimes I'll even play back video, though there's not a lot of video from ancient times past. But now, everything's in video. Picture the ginormous tapestry of information and life that we capture every day through our portable devices. I like them so much, to make my contribution, I carry two. No, if it looked real, it'd have syrup on it instead of just jelly. Who puts Dude, jelly I'm on a pancake? I'm a jelly maniac. So anyways, Rick, Rick, so, there's, jelly maniac. so there's a lot of power in the illusion. I'm about to finish my pancakes. I'm over here at Denny's in Palatine with Rick Ramirez, where I've been enjoying a very delicious meal. I'm about to finish my pancake. It's really big. It's not realistic because it needs more butter on it. Just saying. So this time travel thing, how does it work? Time travel is quite simple. I've been traveling through time since we've been sitting here. By the time I return to my office after our meeting, over an hour will have passed. Or hardcore. Is it even hardcore anymore? No, it's extreme. We're, we're ex extreme is like for the 90s. No, it's we're totally like intense. 2000 and we're, we're that's cutting see, edge, bleeding edge. That's, that's time travel again. I was caught in the rock down in a place called The Jug with a girl named Linda Lou. In walked a man with a gun in his hand, looking for you-know-who. I said, hey, bad fellow with the hair color yellow, what you trying to prove? To my woman there, and I'm a man who cares, and this might be all for you. Give me three steps, give me three steps, a mister. Give me three steps towards the door. Give me three steps, give me three steps, a mister, and you'll never see me no more. <sighs> so... I'm sorry to disappoint everybody. I thought Darren was going to talk no, about no, the three I, I mics. No, you're not. You're scared. I'm, he's, he's I'm scared. scaring he's, and he's, fearing for my life. He's, I'm, he's scared. I'm shaking scared. like a leaf on a tree because he was lean and mean and big and bad and pointing that gun at me. I said, wait a minute, mister. I didn't even kiss her. I don't want no trouble with you because I know you don't know me, but I wish you'd let me ask one favor of you. Give me three steps. Give me three steps, mister. Give me three steps towards the door. Give me three steps, give me three steps, and mister, you never see me no more. And cut. So, to... You like the extended soul patch going on. I do. What is it? It's like you got a lot of soul. Maybe. It comes and goes. It some, does. Some days it's a, it's a, but you're not, you're the illusion here. The illusion. Abracadabra. <sighs> I don't know how to begin, but I'll just take it from here. I'm sailing away, set an open course in the Virgin Sea, because I've got to be free, free to face the life that's ahead of me. I'm bored? I'm the captain, so climb aboard. Search for tomorrow on every shore, and we'll try, oh Lord, we'll try to carry on. Gathering angels here above my, I think I just skipped a chorus or something. You can see that the illusion really isn't real. So money isn't real, the pancakes aren't real, I'm not real. That's the whole point. Well, here's a little story. I got... Oh, God, don't rap, dude, ever. You're Jews, unless you're Beastie Boys, don't rap. Um, edit that out. It, it's like the month of Jewish holidays. I can't say <laughs> anti-Jew things. As Jews, we enjoy singing and dancing, passionately. Neither of them very skilled, but we enjoy these things. Yay! So the story of Three Mics goes a little something like this. It's got to be short. I'm so glad I'm not the one editing this crap. Me too. <laughs> oh, no, Rick. Uh, it, oh, oh, wait uh, a minute. It is, it is my job yeah, to edit this, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is, dude. Um, yeah. I feel sorry for that guy. That's, that's future Rick, because present Rick doesn't have to do that right now. The story three of three mics. So the story of three mics goes a little something like this. I got a few mics in my life. We got cool Mike, we got crazy Mike, and we got weird Mike. And it's a little bit overwhelming at times. So, should we go, where, where should I start, Rick? Where would you prefer me to tell you the story of three mics? With weird mics. Weird mics, a friend of mine from. Welcome to my world. <laughs>